All right, normally I like to watch these videos with a lot of context. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a pro editor music video. I'm a pro editor music video. For artists like these guys. <laughs> That's enough. I'm just reacting to this straight up. I know nothing about this Stray Kids music video, but we're about to dive in. They're under, bruh. They're underwater. Welcome to Kamala. We're 25 seconds in and I'm shook. I'm what, bro? Lots of times K-pop cameras are very just smooth with their movements, but these cameras, they're handheld. We're going crazy. Maybe it's added in editing, maybe not, I'm not sure. But just look, they're crazy, but they're intentional about it because we have a nice little tilt up transition right here. Woo. Wait a second, this has to be CGI. He transformed into somebody else with the base ceiling. What is happening, bro? The pyro. I used to work at a fireworks store and it, let me tell you, this is some crazy stuff. What is on the map? Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, I cannot read anything that's on English. I need to be cultured better. It looks like they're taking the money to the bank. I can read bank at least, all right? So let's make it happen. Like that's a real map, that's not VFX. Maybe it is VFX. Okay, it's VFX all the way until this frame. That's crazy. What? What is happening? What is this effect, bro? Looks like they just rotoscoped him out and did just this weird VFX, like radial sucking of sound behind his head and the sound wave is so freaking intense that it just starts messing with the light waves and stuff happens. <laughs> it looks like souls left his head and then all of a sudden everybody else is around him. That's crazy. All the other dancers were already there, but just the way that choreographed the camera move and then used the VFX to trick our brains and think that the people are appearing from out of his head. That's absolutely wild. That's, that's crazy. And then one of the best ways to start a clip is to have just chaos happen in front of the camera. So, you know, like it's just a great transition. There's clowns. What is happening? I want to know what's happening in the middle here. It says, throw away the needless formalities. There are no boundaries in enjoying ourselves. This looks like a scene that I might expect with those lyrics being like the philosophy for a certain society. Ooh. We love a good eye transition. <laughs> the kid just right on the snare. <laughs> that is terrifying. I'm going to have nightmares now. No, it's too good, it's too good. I wish I knew what this meant. Somebody in the comments, let me know. Why is that character dissolving? What does it mean? But this says face the noise of the world. So what is the meaning of this thing? We'll find out at the end. But at least the bad guy's dissolving. That gives me hope. I love the stills too on the It's just something that's different. Us as humans, we love novelty. We love things that are out of the ordinary. And that's why contrast creates focus. So that's just, that's nice. Woo. The subtle V effects that just make people look like they're appearing and disappearing. The way that the camera is matching all of the hammer, the, the hammer movements, the hand movements, the camera is matching the hand movements.
That's what's happening, and it's crazy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The underwater is crazy. I've never seen anything this good. The crash. <laughs> what? Watch how smooth this is. Zoom. The camera. The camera is so much a part of the choreography, it's crazy. Stop, stop. Everything goes slow mo, and he just teleports with fire in front of everybody. Okay, so there's like a bank robbery happening with like a pirate bank robbery. Okay, what was that dance move? What was that? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Nah, bro. Okay, good. I was like, I thought that guy had dissolved. I thought we were done with him, but good thing he turns to dust afterwards. Let's talk about this bus blowing up. We get the explosion and then it transitions so smoothly into the next scene. That is such great direction. To create anticipation with a counting clock, we're like, oh frick, like he's done. It's exploding. And then we get, like that is just, that's gorgeous. There's just so many atmospherical elements. Like you have the bubbles in the underwater scene, you have ashes and dust flying around. There's always something that creates so much depth and so much tangibility within the scenes. Not the finger dancing. Bro. This is the best I got there. This is such good songwriting. This is not what I expected at all in this section. I am loving every second of it. I just, I can't even pause it. I literally can't, like, I want to, but I can't, like, I did, but I, I didn't, I mean, I did, I really didn't want to pause it right there. Sorry. This is crazy, bro. They just build up tension. Everything you see in here is just craziness all the time. Everything's just nuts. And so they have this big, long section of just subdued shots of darkness, of quietness in the song. You think the beat's gonna drop? And then it does. They're teasing us. But then once the beat does drop, we get this crazy eye transition. And then the craziness has earned its satisfaction because we had contrast. That contrast created focus and that satisfaction is now even better. It's like that first meal after you've been fasting. It just tastes so good for some reason. This FPV drone is dope. Look at these like, the background character matching that so great with the editing. Oh my gosh, the scale of this. These FPV drone shots are the most insane to me because this is really what the set looked like. This isn't VFX, they actually just did this. This is wild. And so they just flew a drone around there and be like, hey, this is everything that we did. That's a crazy shot. Okay, what's happening? Oh. 
what? Okay, wait. They do this crazy performance. It's like the most nuts thing you've ever seen in your entire life. They pause. They look into the abyss. They all do the I love you signal, which I actually can't. I literally can't do it, bro. Like, this is the best I got. <laughs> it was all like a school recital performance. I love Stray Kids, bro. We gotta go to the beginning now. So that first drum hit right in the intro, our boy puts up his hand and then we cut to the kid hitting the drum almost in the same motion. It creates a really cool match cut. So those super evil creatures is actually stage fright personified. So the kids are getting ready for their rehearsal, but they are nervous. But Stray Kids helps them overcome their stage fright Right, and give an amazing performance. Guess what's crazy? Did you know that the average person spends five hours and 41 minutes per day at their desk working? And the, the sad and funny part is that I'm an editor, so it's gonna be way more than that for me. Frick. <laughs> Which is one reason why I reached out to GroveMade to help me create the most comfortable and efficient work environment while I'm at my desk. They make some of the best desk accessories in the world, and here's what I got. I got a desk pad, a large mouse pad, a keyboard tray, and wrist rests. Gotta keep those wrists, you know, moving. I know it sounds bougie, but it actually makes a difference during those long edit sessions. I'm, I'm telling you. I got a large monitor stand to raise both of my monitors so I'm not looking down while I'm editing, putting strain on my neck and back. Gotta keep those monitors eye level. It has a little tray, super cute. Lastly, I got a fancy gold pen and this stand for my headphones so they're not floating around willy-nilly all over my edit bay. <laughs> Everything is custom designed using the best materials. It's an investment that is totally worth it. And right now you can get 10% off with code JORM10. So if you want to spice up your workspace, head to the link in the description. Jesus loves you. I love you guys. Peace.